Sir Joe Bosano is proud of his performance over the years in predicting the growth of the Gibraltar economy. But he said no serious economist would try to forecast the direction in which our economy will develop after Brexit. He compared the transition to the move away from MOD jobs in the 1980s. Given that uncertainty, he said, public sector pay is an issue that can no longer be ignored. Things have to change. Each year, these gaps get bigger. The gap between the lowest paid and the highest paid in the public sector and the average earnings gap between the public and the private sector. This is impossible to sustain economically and difficult to justify socially. He said we have to examine how we deliver services and improve what we do, working smarter, not harder. In Gibraltar and elsewhere in the world, governments are grappling with transformational changes brought by technology. Locally, vast sums of money have been spent over the years bringing in experts to transition to an electronic delivery of services. But, Sir Joe said, so far, Gibraltar has precious little to show for this investment. He said the health authority provided an example of what a drive towards greater efficiency can achieve. This year's GHA budget is close to what it was two years ago, reversing a long-standing upward trend. Sir Joe rubbished the GSD's decision not to vote in favour of the budget. He said what they are being asked to vote for is simply the withdrawal of money from the consolidated fund. On government-owned companies, he said that since 1988, the GSLP has not believed in borrowing for recurrent expenditure. Loans have been for investments. Public sector pensions will cost the government £40 million next year, he told Parliament, and they'll continue to climb. On GDP growth, he underlined that in the past six years, the vast majority of new jobs have been outside the construction industry. He said Gibraltar's GDP growth was therefore not a result of a construction boom. On the savings bank, Sir Joe said it is holding about £1.3 billion in deposits. Sir Joe says he's willing to try to help any Gibraltarian who may be unemployed and willing to work. Similarly, his doors are open to any employer interested in taking on apprentices. His department would provide financial support.